Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is OG and today we played the NA finals. So this is fresh off the finals actually like um I think it ended like two hours ago. They were super long, um and it was honestly like really competitive to some extent. But we're gonna be covering all the games, so I don't know how many videos it's gonna take me, maybe like three, maybe even four, but um we're gonna go over all the games because I think they were really good. Um so we played the first game for NA. I think South America went ahead of us. Um but we played the first game for NA and it was against IX Circles, which is IX's second team. Um, and we're gonna cover those games right now. So first map was Minecart Madness. The bands for the set are Max and we ban, we ban Sprout. So the bands are like two blind bands. Um, so you can both ban the same brawler, but uh, we ban Sprout pretty much every time. We didn't want to play Sprout. So let's get into the first game. Number one, um, it was a minecart madness. This map is literally all over Brawl Stars competitive. And um, like I said, the bans are Sprout and um, they ban Max because I, I don't think they have a good Max on their team. Um, so we kind of, Luki's pretty predictable. Um, he usually like just, he'll try to play a thrower. So uh, we went Mortis for the first game. <laughs> Crying almost gets Toonie there. If he did bats, he would have got him, uh, but he hangs onto his bats and I've had a uh, pretty strong start on my side. So you're going to you're going to see they're going to try switching with the minecart, but we catch on to that and crying just switches right away with me and that way I can stay on the M's. Um sorry my Wi-Fi is being weird. But um honestly, Mort is such a good pick into their comp like just M's. Jeans decent against Mort, but uh Tick is definitely not decent against Mortis. So we also had the B just kind of as a safety net if they did decide to go tanks. That way we wouldn't be completely like screwed. Um, and Barley, I mean, he holds his own against tanks. He just gotta like hit your shots and stuff. So we have really good control right now. Uh, they have zero gems. Crying's been doing a really good job applying pressure. Um, so we see that Gene has pull. I think, mm, I mean, it's Mortis. So he probably didn't want to risk it with uh, the situation that's going on. So we're all being like really careful. We're just waiting for the minecart and hopefully a good gem spawn. Uh, so this one's gonna back us up. Crying could have got that. I think Crying. Well, it's okay. Crying could have got that probably, he would have got pulled in the minecart, um, but he has four gems, so he didn't want to risk throwing, so I understand it from his perspective too. We don't need to rush anything. They are slowly catching up, but we had such a big lead that it uh, doesn't matter too, too much. So I'm going to switch over on the M's, that way I can just kind of do work on her and hopefully get my super and just space everything out. Second's going to miss his super, but um, you know we're just waiting for that one good gem spawn because we're overdue for it at this point and the minecart to coordinate. So we do get lucky right here and crying sees his opportunity. Toonie could have pulled that. I think I think he could have pulled that. Uh second's gonna hit a good shot on the tick. And we're just gonna like we gotta hang on at this point, but um the game's pretty much ours. So crying will get pulled and he just dashes out in time. He kind of dashed into the M sing, but you have to. Um and we're gonna have a really good game. So it was just a smart pick by us that game with uh the mortis. Alright guys, game number two, um, so we switched it up this time, we went Jackie and Jean, um, they kept the tick, and they kept the same comp actually, they probably think, like thought we wouldn't go more twice in a row, just cause it's so risky, and you know, they were right, we didn't, um, so you're gonna see me trying to switch this entire game pretty much, just cause that tick versus Barley matchup is so toxic, I do have the healing on, I think, so it's like a little more tolerable, but um, it's still really, really in favor of the tick, so the tick's a hard counter, um, especially on maps like this. So I do almost take out Luki there. My Wi-Fi's gonna cut for a sec. Um, Second's gonna do a good job baiting out the pull, and I think, oh no. So he does have the healing star power on for the tick, and he'll just manage to survive that. Um, on the other end of things, Crying's doing a good job applying pressure, but he will get taken out here, I think. Second's gonna miss his pull. I don't wanna back up too, too much. Um, so I'll take out the tick head, I think. Yeah, okay. Let's just switch to automatic camera. Um, so we're getting zoned off pretty hard. I'm trying to go in the M's because the M's is in a really aggro spot right now. And, uh, you know, crying obviously matches up way better with the tick. Crying's just gonna kind of run at them and die. Um, so they are getting a bit of a lead now. They're up one gem on us compared to us controlling it. Um, and you can see I switched back over on the M's. I'm trying to, this, this map, you switch so much if you have a bad matchup just because the minecarts enable you to. Um, so Krang's trying to be sneaky and I will get taken out there, unfortunately. Um, I should have just backed off and Krang's gonna miss his super. Um, Toonie does get hit by the minecart, so 
we, we gotta like do something really special to get this one back though like toonie has pull slash is still alive um and you know i feel like we could have played this one a lot better and they did a good job switching um and keeping up with their rotations so uh props to them and they'll take game number two all right guys game number three now every set is a best of three so this is the decider um second's gonna go on piper probably like piper's not a bad pick but i think b is a lot safer because one game we were kind of like anticipating them playing like triple tank or like double tank like poco like this um and b would have done a lot better in this matchup so i get run down by the rosa i played this like entire match was definitely my weakest match of the day um honestly like <laughs> i don't want to make excuses i'm not a morning person though i fell asleep at 5 a.m and then i got like four hours of sleep um so i kind of was off to a slow start i haven't i mean barley's pretty straightforward but i think i get run down here again and i don't even know what like that mr p like that's such a bad turret it's just a waste um at this point like we were really panicky um so second's gonna take out the rosa but um you know they've had complete control this entire game i think it's gonna hit two good shots almost take out the poco um it wouldn't have done much because the rosa was there crying trying to make something happen um but they just have so much sustain and second's putting up a really good effort he almost got the poco that was actually pretty close i didn't see that but um crying's just gonna see if he can do something on his way oh it's actually it's actually pretty close oh he missed I, like poco had heals so poco would have been fine but um it was a good it was a good try i mean we got out comp there but it's okay they'll take the first step all right guys game number one of the brawl ball set so they're up one nothing in sets right now and you guys will see if you watch you know how important the sets actually end up being today um like every set was very crucial so <laughs> again you can see my penny is not as sharp as it usually is in the morning. Um, so I get run down by Toonie. Second, um, he's doing a good job. He probably should have pinched over a little bit earlier, but, um, you know, that's my fault. I got. It's a tough matchup, too, just because Speed BB can dodge really easily. Um, but once I get that Mortar out, I'll be fine. And I thought, like, Second's going to cover me there really well. Um, but I thought I would be able to see BB just if she ran into the bush. So my mortar's gonna get two hits. Second's gonna be there to finish it off. And we have a good chance to score here. So second's just gonna tuck it in the corner. And um, I'm getting carried right now, to be honest. Crying and second are playing really well in their matchups. The more open the map gets, the better it is for us. So I just wanna get my mortar out. So I hit two shots there and I get it out. And we don't need to rush anything, honestly, with our comp. So Crying does get run down and he does super the wrong way. That almost cost us the game. Uh, so I'm going to pinch over and just catch it on the line. He shot it. I think he could have scored there. He shot it one second too early. Um, so Crying kind of like messed up on the jump there a little bit. But luckily we're able to recover from it. And I could have put my turret up higher. But I just want to be safe um, because BB is definitely giving me... Toonie's doing a really good job dodging. He's giving me a tough time uh, just getting value out of my turret. But you can see he's like kind of running back and forth into it. And uh, we are slowly like just wearing them down. They don't have a lot of poke. Second's gonna get his super and go for a shot. He just misses, unfortunately. Toonie's there to make a good save. Uh, but me and Crying can honestly just hold it down. My Wi-Fi's gonna cut for a sec, sorry. Um, I almost take out Slash, but he's gonna back off. And it's just, they can't really, like the only range they have is Slash, right? And we all outrange Slash. So they have to get really good dodges. And I'm just trying to like get the ball so they do have a lot of sustain, so they can score if they do get position. But uh, luckily, we've been able to cover for each other like pretty well this entire game. Slash is going to take my turret out, but it doesn't matter. Um, we're just going to like, we know it's going to overtime, and overtime, like, it should be ours. With B, you can just run up and auto aim. Like, that's what he's doing right there. Um, and you literally, like, can't miss. <laughs> so we're just going to like, I knew like if it went to overtime, we would win that game. Um, so second's gonna play really well and we'll take game number one to Brawl Ball. All right guys, game number two on Backyard. So they are gonna switch it up entirely. Uh, so they're on three different brawlers. I guess they like seconds B and my Penny because they switched to them. Uh, they're gonna choose to go with Mr. P though instead of uh, our Brock. So we like Brock for the wall break. Penny can wall break too, but um, Brock is also really good into Mr. P. Um, sorry, Mr. P he's decent into, 
um but he's really good into penny and b so we're gonna get like some kills there so krang's gonna push up and put that one away and we're off to a quick start um so we're looking a lot better in the brawl ball set than uh the gem grab set and i'm gonna like i like being really aggro with penny on this map just i like pinching i like getting like my turret out and just like being a nuisance with them and krang's gonna like super some of the walls open for us and i like I'm trying to trade so I can get my mortar because I'm very close to it right now. Um, but second and crying are doing a really good job. They took out Luki and they just run that left side of the map right now. Um, crying is going to try putting it away, but he didn't really have the angle or anything. So I'm going to place a really aggro turret here and just this is what I mean. I like being a nuisance, like just kind of getting in there, like poking them. You can see the coins are doing work. Um, I should have used my gadget there, but. I do almost take out Luki. I'm just trying to hang on here and go for a shot. Fortunately, Toonie is there to catch it. Um, so good save from Toonie and he just stayed alive too. Um, Wi-Fi is cutting for a sec again. <laughs> but uh, we've been controlling this game really well so far and second's doing really good. So it's crying and I'm playing a lot better this game too. So me and second are both gonna connect there on Slash and take him out immediately and we're just like really chipping them down. We know we don't have to go for anything crazy just because we've controlled this game so well. So if a goal like comes, it comes. If not, we just keep them spawn trapped and uh, farm some KD. <laughs> not that KD matters, but uh, they do include damage actually. So I almost take out Luki there with the help of my turret and I'm just gonna back off because we don't wanna get team wiped obviously. Um, my turret is gonna take out Luki. So I'm not sure about that mortar from Toonie. It was kind of like, my panic Mr. P Porter and uh, the gym grab set, I think. I'm just hanging on, trying to stay alive. I do get taken out, but the second's gonna slow them down enough. And crying, like, I mean, Toonie can go for a trick shot here, I guess, but crying can just like auto him down. So we're gonna take the Brawl Ball set pretty convincingly. The first one was a little iffy, but the second one we played really solid. All right, guys, set number three, we're on to Bounty Snake Prairie. Um, no. If you guys watched the last video, we played IX uh, Circles. We also played them on Snake. So they played Leon. They're not bringing it out this time, unfortunately. It was a cool pick. I really, they're being more aggro for the first star. Uh, we have Piper, so I wanted, I didn't want to give it up that easily, but I also don't want to go down. Um, so they do kind of outnumber us just because Crying's getting a super. Um, but I'm almost at my super, and, you know, we are unfortunately going to have to give up the first star, but. Their tar is not close to super at all. Crying acknowledges that. He saw him throw cards and he's just gonna blind fire on the B to or the bow totem, sorry. And I'll drop my mines just on their side because the more vision we have, the better. Um, and we're just gonna like start farming supers a little bit. So it's pretty boring, honestly. You can see they're doing the same thing. We just have to be careful. Like second should come over and get his jump right now. That way he has no risk of getting pulled by a Tara, or he has some, but like it's very little. So we can see that the Tara is using her gadget. So we're just going to back off and respect the gadget. We see the mines, we're just going to trigger them. I think we leave that one in the back. No, Krang's going to get it actually. Um, but we do have vision on the bow and this is the thing about Bounty. Um, they have, they have to play into us, right? We have the lead. So because Krang went up and got that one kill, um, they do have to play into us this entire game unless we die. I tell second to just come over and I'm trying to like see where their totem is and if I can get it uh, because I think they're on their last one. But I'm telling second to just come over and get his jump at this point. That way we're safe for if they collapse on us. Crying has like two gadgets left so he's gonna pop one early just so they don't like sneak up and second can also just see them and like chip them down because it does work for the entire map right. Um, so Crying's gonna pop his last one. There's nine seconds left. We just can't all die here and He's going to hit my bow mines. I'll take him out. I do get, that was a really good pull from them and I should have positioned better, but um, luckily we got Luki on the mines and we will take the first game of Bounty. Game number two. So we're going to look to have the same start, except hopefully we can get the middle star this time. Um, but they are going to fully commit again and bring that Tara up. So I got to back off here just because I do take a lot of damage. Um, and ideally I am the one that gets the middle star. So the Tara does show that she's up here. I really don't think Tara needs to be there. Um, but we do get kind of bodied off the first star, but they're going to be way behind for their tire gadget, right? Um, so they're going to be scared that we're like pushing up that like crying what he did last game. Um, and crying almost gets taken out there by incendiary. He just manages to make it out. 
Um, but we do have all our gadgets on our Tara, I think, and they're down one. And okay, so they're gonna pop another one. They're scared. They're kind of like panicking. I don't really like that Tara use. Um, I think the bow should just drop back earlier, and like same with the Brock, and then they could maybe use it then. Um, but they're gonna start breaking the walls open. And honestly, this game is super boring. <laughs> I just remember what happens. So we pretty much just wait until like the last like 20 seconds and go for a kill. And Ryan's going to get hit and it actually cancels his tower gadget. I didn't know that was a thing, um, but I will get pulled from Slash there. And I almost get taken out, but he's going to hit one of my mines and second's going to blind fire into a bush and just take him out. Um, so we got really lucky. <laughs> Not lucky, but... Um, crying is just gonna hang on too. he'll get a kill um but it was a really like it was really close um if he didn't hit my mind there uh he would have survived and second hit a really good blind shot without the tower vision and we will take bounty all right guys um this could be the final set it is the set number four and it's factory rush we chose not to go with bb we're playing jackie instead um they're pretty much and i get the bb matchup again toonie did a really good job just dodging me in general um so he actually played a really good BB, but second's going to be there to pinch with me. Um, and you can just see I'm missing so many shots. Um, I'm still like this whole match. I think I could have played much better. Second's going to do a really good job just pushing the pan back and just chipping Toonie when he does try going through mid. Luckily, we get the first bot. Um, Crying did a good job getting the bolts too. And I will actually pick up my mortar. So that's going to help out a lot. Just with mid control, we already knew we weren't. So our plan was to get all three bots and just control with this. Um, if needed, we could like use my mortar for offense, but um, sorry about the Wi-Fi. I don't know why it keeps cutting like that. At least it's not like really choppy though. It could be worse. Um, Uni's just gonna like try like pushing me back. Luckily not like a lot of the bolts have spawned on this side of the map and the ones that have, they're like in the mid more and second's been doing a really good job just with mid control. So crying did get taken out there and Tooney is going to get taken out. Second's doing a really good job. He's hitting all his shots and we will get the last, or the, sorry, the second bot. And you can just see, I'm trying to take out Luki. He just regens, so he'll survive. Um, but we do want to get some damage here if possible. Um, so I think I go for a wall break and yeah, I go for a wall break here and we just want to get a few because I don't know, like I don't like if one of us dies, then there's a really good chance that they can get it. So we wanted a few. We are going to sacrifice um, having the Penny Mortar up, though, just for that damage. But we're doing a really good job just holding it down. Crying's being a nuisance, just hanging out in corners. Um, I'm trying to just keep Toonie off these bolts. And you can see, like, I'm willing to take, like, damage for it. Like, I'm trying to run for it and just... I almost get him. He just gets around the corner, though. Um, and luckily, my teammates did a good job securing the rest of the bolts, though. And we got this game unlocked at this point. Um, so it's just... We want to, like, finish it so we can get <laughs> this match over with. So I'm just going to, like, go throw my mortar out and kind of chip it down. I mean, the game's done at this point. We got every single robot. Um, so we did a really good job controlling. Second kind of popped off that game. Um, but we will take game number one of Siege. Alright guys, game number two of Siege. So, um, we saw in game that they didn't change Brawlers, except Toonie did sneakily. Um, I didn't pick up on that, so I'm like, yo, let me go Spike. And then I do get the Brock matchup, which is pretty toxic for Spike, but I do a really good job. I think I just body him off this side. And, um, you know, Spike is honestly, like, really underrated, I think, in Siege. So, second's gonna help me out there, um, and we almost take out Toonie. He's gonna just hide there, um... You'll get taken out though by second so we have total control right now and our comp is very spawn trappy with me in second and even crying like look at him right there in the corner <laughs> so they're gonna have a really tough time unless one of us like blatantly throws second's just doing a good job he's doing what he has to do crying goes in and just does a ton of damage um me and second can just hold it down so i'm gonna have the brock matchup again i think i'm pretty close to super so I got to respect that he has all his gadgets and I notice him going back here. So I think I, no, I'm going to keep dodging and I catch him going back. So he has to jump that. Yeah. So I make him jump. Um, and I think, no, he's going to survive for now. Maybe I take him out here. All right. We're, we're just keeping him low. We're keeping him low. Um, but we're literally, they got one bolt this entire game and we've, I felt my side really good. Um, second's been hitting all his shots. Crying's been jacking. 
Uh, so I know we can finish here because Spike's actually pretty decent on offense as well. I'm just going to rush in and I'll pop my gadget. So I want to stand inside and it's just going <laughs> to... Nine, um, nine percent. So one spike super should take it out, I think. Um, and I got pretty decent value there, so I think I'm kind of close. But um, we're just gonna chip them down. Even if they do get the bolt, we have really good defense with Spike and Jackie. Um, but we're just gonna take them out, and I'll just run at it and throw my super. I try getting that one RNG. Slash is gonna block it. Um, and the save's gonna stay alive with 40 HP. Tuny kind of gave up. It's 10 to one. So we really played, I think Siege was definitely our best map. Um, we just flat out dominated it. Um, Krang is going to hop in, try getting it. Um, he gets close, but I'll just get that bottom right RNG on it. And that's going to be Siege. All right, guys. So that is going to be the first game of the NA Finals. So we do play again immediately after this against Omen. But we do take the first game three to one in sets. Pay attention to the sets because it is very important in uh, the the entirety of the day i guess so pretty good start to the day and definitely looking to continue winning against omen thanks for watching the vids guys and hope you check out the next one see you all tomorrow peace